Today, our exploration takes us to the Euphrates River, where we uncover the enigmatic whispers that have captured people's attention. Witness captivating footage of the river and listen to the chilling first-hand accounts of the reported eerie sounds. Alongside the history and legends surrounding the area, we explore plausible explanations for this haunting phenomenon. Embark on this captivating journey and immerse yourself in the haunting whispers of the lost souls along the Euphrates. Insane reports of bone-chilling screams have been circulating in the Middle East, coming from beneath the Euphrates River. The Euphrates River, which is now a source of ancient legends and myths, has become the center of attention as the world wonders what could be causing such a terrifying phenomenon. The river stretches over 1,740 miles. It's the longest in Asia, running through Syria, Iraq, and Turkey before flowing into the Persian Gulf. However, in recent years, it's been losing up to 80% of its volume since the 1950s, causing massive concern. What'll happen when the river has completely dried up? Is this a sign of the Day of Judgment? Many have been pointing to the Book of Revelation as it's mysteriously predicted the occurrence of these events, such as the drying up of the Euphrates River, as a sign of the end of times. But others attribute this phenomenon to human activities, including water overuse, dam construction, and climate change. While atheists argue that the latter is more plausible, believers in God are convinced that every event regarding the fallen angels and the Euphrates River has been documented in the Bible, from the fall of Lucifer, also known as the Devil, to the identity of the angels beneath the river. According to the Bible's Revelation, chapter 12, verses 7 through 9, there was a war in heaven between Michael, his angels, and the dragon and his angels, resulting in the defeat of the dragon. The fallen angels are believed to be the source of the bone-chilling screams, sending shockwaves throughout the world. The fact that these screams are coming from beneath the Euphrates River has only added to the horror and suspense surrounding this phenomenon. As the reports of these mysterious sounds continue to circulate, people are left to wonder what could be causing such an unsettling occurrence. Is it the end of times, as foretold in the Bible, or is it simply a result of human activities? The ancient serpent, also known as the Devil or Satan, who leads the world astray, was forcibly thrown down to earth along with his angels, including the Great Dragon. Revelations chapter 9 reveals that the four angels residing under the Euphrates are undoubtedly fallen angels, as explained in Luke chapter 10 verse 17, Revelations chapter 12 verses 7 to 9, and Jude chapter 1 verse 6. Some of the fallen angels who rebelled against God were bound or chained until the appointed time instead of being allowed to roam free on earth. The fallen angels are famous for their violent nature, and they seek to undermine God's principles on Earth. They're resolved to corrupt humanity, and their actions have already caused God to flood the Earth in the past. One reason for the flood was the angels' lust for human women, resulting in the birth of a species that was not in God's plan. It all began when man started to multiply on the face of the Earth, and daughters were born to them. The sons of God saw that the daughters of men were beautiful, and they took wives for themselves as per Genesis 6, 1-2. Satan instigated this plan, hoping to pollute the human seed and thwart God's plan to bring forth a Messiah. The Messiah was prophesied to come one day and destroy Satan. The Lord could not let such an attempt succeed, so he cast the sinning angels into hell and committed them to the pits of darkness reserved for judgment, as explained by Peter in his second letter. Many believe that the four angels residing under the Euphrates are among the bound angels. Their captivity may be the reason for the noises heard on the riverbank, which some interpret as the angels crying out to be released from their prison so that they may wreak havoc on the world. What I'm about to tell you may be the most frightening story ever found inside the Bible. As we mentioned earlier, according to the Bible, four angels are imprisoned beneath the Euphrates River. When they're released, they will unleash carnage upon humanity with the aid of two million horsemen. 
The sixth angel announced their release and heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar commanding the sixth angel to release the four angels bound at the great Euphrates River. The four angels, who had been kept in readiness for a specific day and time, were set free to slaughter one-third of mankind. The army of the horsemen, numbering 200 million, emerged, and I saw the horses in the vision. Those seated on the horses wore breastplates of fiery red hyacinth blue and sulfur yellow. The horses had heads resembling those of lions, and out of their mouths came fire, smoke, and brimstone. This is revealed in Revelations verses 13 to 17. Several scholars propose that the 200 million horsemen represent an army of humans empowered by the four demons. Currently, China is the only country that could potentially assemble such a vast army, with India as another potential candidate. The breastplate colors are the same as those on the presidential standard flag of China. The events unfolding at the Euphrates River are a clear indication that the rapture is rapidly approaching. Therefore, we must serve the Lord with great enthusiasm since we are living in the last days in order to grasp the full extent of what is happening. The book of Revelation should be examined thoroughly as it provides us with valuable insights into the identity of these fallen angels, their fate after being expelled from heaven, and the potential impact on their presence on our lives. The book of Revelations is not only a source of terrifying prophecies, but also a valuable tool for understanding God's view on sin, judgment, redemption, and other crucial spiritual concepts. By studying this book, we may be able to unravel the mystery of the horrifying screams of the fallen angels trapped under the Euphrates. Although the events described in Revelation are frightening, it also brings hope by reminding us that Jesus will return to bring justice and grant eternal life to those who remain faithful. As we navigate through the uncertainties of the end of times, it's essential to keep an eye out for the signs mentioned in Revelations, both to prepare ourselves spiritually and physically for what lies ahead. No matter how bleak things may seem, we must not lose hope. For the book of Revelations offers comfort and assurance that God's justice will prevail, and those who remain steadfast in their faith will receive eternal life. As the world waits for the end of times, there are ominous prophecies that warn of a terrifying event. According to Revelations, there will be beasts trapped within a bottomless pit that will be released during the last days. These creatures will be unleashed by an angel or fallen angel who will open the pit at a specific time and location on earth. The fifth angel's trumpet will sound and a star will fall from heaven to earth. This star will be given the key to the bottomless pit and when it opens, smoke will rise and locusts will pour out of the pit. These locusts will be given the power of scorpions and they will cause great destruction and chaos upon the earth. The idea of a bottomless pit raises questions about its location. It's unclear whether it's within the earth itself or in another dimension. However, Revelations 9-1 states that the angels come from heaven to earth and then the bottomless pit is opened, suggesting it may be a physical location on the planet. The creatures released from the bottomless pit are described as scorpion-like beasts. While it is uncertain where they come from, there is a possibility that they could have been hidden within the earth all this time. This raises the possibility of the return of giants and fallen angel hybrid creatures mentioned in Genesis. According to the Bible, these creatures existed before the flood and were wiped out along with everything on earth. However, some of them managed to return, as seen in the story of David and Goliath. This means that there is a chance that these giants may reappear during the end of times. The return of these giants will make the end times like the days of Noah, according to Jesus. Matthew 24:37 states, But as the days of Noah were, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. This prophecy is frightening and should be taken seriously, as it warns of an event that could cause widespread destruction and terror. It is not clear when these events will occur, but the warnings in the Bible indicate that it will happen someday. It's essential to be prepared both spiritually and mentally for these events and to have faith in God to protect us during these trying times.
As always, if you have any questions or comments about the topic, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content like this. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.